Hello, this is Michael, and today we're going to be unboxing and showing you the Clover 6 video magnifier. In Europe, these are the Looky 6. So inside, we have the video magnifier, and on the, what I like about it is on the back, this handle is attached and just easily rotates in and out. And it has this nice felt fabric piece here so you're not going to scratch the back of the device doing this. And if you pull it down, it goes into a reading mode. It, which apparently also turns the device on automatically, I just discovered. <laughs> so we'll let that boot up. So we have our contrast button. So let me get that back to normal. So I've got it on normal now, so you can see. And if you push this, it will toggle through your different contrast settings. But one good thing we just discovered is if you push and hold this button, it takes you to this menu and you can hit these to put a red slash through them for the colors you don't want. So like if I don't want green, I can just tap and now they're crossed off and they won't be in the menu when I'm cycling. So we can see we have normal, we have a dark mode. You can just go through a few of them. Yeah. We have your yellow and black, both variations of that. You have white and blue, blue and yellow, green and black, looks like a purple and a black, and a few others. So you have most of the contrast modes. I think their website says there's 16 contrast settings. One complaint on this one, and I've found this on most video magnifiers, is there is no up down arrow to quickly go through those. You just have to push, 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 push till you get to whatever color you want. So if you were using this for personal use, I would pick maybe three modes you like and disable the rest. That way you can get through them quicker. Uh, the plus and magnify buttons have some tactile feel to them. So the plus it has a bump dot in the middle where the plus would be, and the Minus has a little recession, so you can kind of feel tactilely which one you need. And this will go up to 35X according to the manufacturer's website. Now, you're not going to be able to read anything very well at that level. You may consider a CCTV at that point, but it will go super high. The big thing I like on this one though, is if we push this blue button, this will put a reading line and it has horizontal or vertical, and it can do masking the same way. So that can help you keep focus on when you're reading, which we find is a very common complaint with video magnifiers. So for example, on this book, I've got my magnifier and now I've got my reading line, so I can see I'm at job related injury or illness, must, and then if I forgot where I was, I have my line to help me see where I was at. A uh, few notes is, uh, like with most of these video magnifiers, this charging cable is proprietary, so do not lose this. This one has the option for a HDMI connector, so you can connect it to the device, then you can blow your image up on a monitor or a television. So if this screen is too small for you, you can blow this up a whole lot more. It has a very, very detailed manual. There's 45 pages and it's large print, so it's easy to read. Has a cleaning cloth and a lanyard. And it comes with a cloth carrying case to help it not get scratched. So this is $795 mm -hmm. and it has touch screen and tactile controls and it has a photo mode. You can use a panning mode while you're in the photo mode and supposedly it has three hours of continuous use battery life. 
Now, you can extend that, of course, if you're turning the device off when it's not in use, but three hours is a long time for a video magnifier. So why this is my favorite one we've had so far, I like the touchscreen and tactile option. The buttons are very self-explanatory. I didn't feel like I needed to dig out the manual to figure out most of these controls. A lot of these we've seen to reduce the buttons. A lot of them will be tap this button for one thing or touch and hold it for five seconds for a different feature and that gets very complicated very quickly. I liked how easy it was to disable contrast modes. That has been a complaint I've had on every magnifier I've touched is that you have to get deep into the settings, find where contrast is, then disable them. And that's really hard when you're trying to assess a client when you're at the actual site and you're doing your assessment, that can be very frustrating. So I liked that that was quick to toggle on and off. Mm -hmm. And for you, the users, if you um, only need like three contrast modes, like most of the clients I work with will need like normal, maybe dark mode and maybe one color mode they like. So the fact you can disable them and not have to toggle all of them without digging into your settings is very, very, Nice, and I love this handle. A lot of these, the if they have a handle, it's, and we'll show this on, an, this was shown on our Zoomax video. It will be like you have to attach the handle, then rotate it a certain way, or it feels very flimsy. This one feels very solid. And I like that the kick out reading mode is attached to the handle. A lot of them will have like a reading stand handle and the holding handle and it gets cumbersome and i like the size and the line magnifier i believe their website says this is the smallest video magnifier now this is six inches and it's super thin so i like the size i like the portability and you can see the carrying case is that big so a small female wallet size this will easily fit in your purse or your bag. So ver transportation's very nice on this. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe down below.